Hello, hello. I have great news today. I am taking you to a new thrift store, new to us. I am so excited for you guys to see this thrift store. If you watched a recent video, I did some thrifting in this small town in Virginia called Culpepper, and the day just did not go as planned. And one of the things that happened that day was I popped into this thrift store and it only had 10 minutes before closing, but it is an amazing thrift store, probably the best in town. Really the goal today will just be looking for those vintage gems. I wanna kinda show you a little bit of everything so you can get a sense of this new thrift store and we are gonna have so much fun, so let's get thrifting. So they have this rack of summer pieces that are all only a dollar each. I found some really nice pieces too. This is 100% silk. Look at this tank top with a horse embroidered on it. So cute. This little vintage single stitch tee. This cute little tee. This, could, if you wear this like undersized, it could be like a cute kind of Y2K baby tee moment. It has a little scalloped edging on it. This vintage Nordstrom embroidered pocket tee. Oh my gosh, this is a little vintage T-shirt. Super cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be considering a few of these items and hanging on to them for now, and let's go inside. These are plus size, 100% silk, little sage green Dana Butler pants, still with the original tags. They're so gorgeous. Size 24, so excited to see those. And they do have a plus size section here. It's kind of a mix of um, tops and bottoms, but there's some good little plus size vintage pieces.
Let's look at the dresses. Wow, that's amazing. Look at the little bows. Oh, that's so cute. Wow, I've never found a Lori Ashley dress in the wild. A lot of their coats are on sale for five bucks each, so I'm gonna take a look. They do have some really nice coats, just nothing for me. A lot of like black uh, wool coats and I just don't want something like that right now. But I know they have a vintage section here that we haven't seen yet. So I want to go look at that right now. that wow okay yes cart check oh my gosh 
yeah so it's going really well like oh my gosh I love the store um, we've seen most of the clothing but we haven't looked at the shoes and they're 50% off today and then right now I'm back in the home goods so maybe I'll glance around at that too and show you anything interesting but their fitting room is open so I am gonna pop in the fitting room if I get a chance and actually try on some of the stuff that I found all right leave a comment if you can actually hear this song in your head when you see this got the right one baby I'm not seeing a ton I like in the shoes. Too bad because they do have 50% off. But here's the section. And they do have these cute Stuart Weitzman slides for 25. Not my size. Otherwise I would go for it, especially if they did half off of these. Make a really good deal. open so I'm gonna try some of the stuff that I found. Okay. This blouse. It's pretty cute. And I've got like 20 things over there so let's try these. I thought the color was cute and it's got like satin detail but it just pulls too much on the bust so hell yeah. and the top. Oh, yes. Awesome. I thought this would be like a fun kind of YPK moment, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm super into this particular one. I am so happy this one fits. I love it. <laughs> oh, man. Look at the little puff sleeve. Oh, this is a definite yes. This top I picked up I thought was so cool because of the checker knit in it, um, but it does have stains and now that I have it on, I don't know, I like the cap sleeve situation. Just it's too long for what I like, but if I tuck it and if I can get the stains out, so the stains kind of make it a maybe, you know. Actually, I kind of like this whole look I have going on with the black and white. with my yellow headband. <laughs> this little pink 90s like, cropped t-shirt. It's pretty cute. I like with these pants too. Mm. So all of their tees are a dollar or two. Um, tees and tank tops are a dollar right now. This tee is a definite yes, even though it's a, it's a tighter fit than I expected, but I can work with it. And I have a couple like jackets to try that I'm gonna put on over it right now. I think this fabric is just really cool and kind of like artsy looking, you know? And it's still very vibrant. Like it's it's clearly old, but it's still in really good shape. So yeah, I think I like that one. I think it's cool. This little pastel floral blazer. It's too tight. It's like a linen material, so I thought it'd be really cool, but not this one, wrong size. Oh well. This little 90s striped rib knit top. It's a cute basic, but it's not like wowing me right now. See, this gold one is more of like a wow top. It's like sparkly gold. But the thing about these is they're like very scratchy texture, like it's it's not comfy. But um, yeah, for like a fun occasional piece, this is a cute little going out top kind of thing. Mm. This vintage top, it's so cool. Yes. Dang, I was gonna try this one for you but um the cuffs of the sleeve like literally won't go over my hand <laughs> it's, they're 
or too small so maybe the whole thing is too small but it looks like a large or something it also has like it's it's handmade and it doesn't have the best stitching but the fabric is just cute but oh well pass so i really like this vintage top i have a red gingham blouse with a dagger collar but i like this one better so if i get this one then maybe i will pass on the other one and like basically upgrade you're allowed to do that <laughs> i'm allowed to do that one is too small. Um, it's totally not zipped in the back at all. But I wanted to try this Laura Ashley dress for you. <laughs> you can see, like, get an idea. It's very sweet. If I got this, it would only be because it's Laura Ashley, so that's fine that it doesn't fit me. <laughs> like, I don't need to wear, like, this isn't my, my jam quite. Here's another one that I just thought would be fun to try on. Um, the, it does fit me, but the buttons are just annoying, so just pretend that I buttoned them all. I just didn't want to deal with it all. It's actually really cute. I feel like it's, this is not my vibe, but like I could style this, you know? I could make it like a little more edgy or something, like give it this cute like indie feel is what I was thinking. Like make this look like a little indie moment. I also kind of wanted to try this set for you, but it's way too small. It's a size of vintage eight, so way too small for me. Ooh, pockets. That's cool. Here's this um, vintage like 90s, I believe, maxi skirt. Just love the colors in it. I actually get a lot of wear out of stuff like this. Um, it's a little bit loose, so it kind of like hangs lower than I want. You know, I like it, but it isn't like a once in a lifetime kind of find, I don't think. I definitely have a good amount of skirts right now too. I just, I, again, I love the colors, so. Another little 90s skirt, which fits me better. I like it has buttons down the front, but I just don't know if I'm like 100% sold on these colors. I think it'd be cute with a little like cropped tank top and like Doc Martin boots and like your little choker necklace. I could see you just doing total 90s moment with this, but beyond that, I like to know I'm gonna style something multiple ways and this one I'm just not sure. Darn, I was really hoping these pants would fit. They're like a cute olive green, but um, yeah, they're, they're way too tight, so. Okay, that was everything. I am so stoked on my finds. So I get to go check out and then once I get home, I will get you the haul and actually like style up all the pieces I'm getting. I'm so excited. Okay, so that store was awesome. It totally delivered on the vintage gems. It was cool to get in the fitting room and get to try some of the pieces on. I hope you enjoyed that too. Now I'm gonna show you everything I actually brought home and style up the pieces as well. Let me start with the t-shirts because you know I'm a total sucker for vintage tees and I was very pleased with the selection at the store. I definitely had to grab this vintage Dallas, Texas t-shirt. It is a single stitch, Hanes 50-50. has a silk screen with these horses on it and it's still in really, really good condition. So I'm gonna take good care of this one. I always wash these inside out and then hang them to dry. If you put them in the dryer, it can make it give a vintage tee like a cool faded look, but I definitely like to baby my tees, so I'll be doing that. This one does have such a slim fit on me, but I do like to have vintage tees with all different fits so that I can style them in different ways. So I think this one is a good layer, maybe underneath a jacket or a blazer kind of thing. I got that yellow vintage uh, Con Conservation Summit t-shirt. I don't wear a ton of yellow, but I'm always drawn to like a pastel yellow especially. And I love how this one is like the women's style cut with the like sort of vintage ringer fit. So anyway, I could definitely see me styling this. I have some cute like uh, checkered pants that I think this would look amazing with and just give it like kind of a casual, almost like 70s feel with the tee. And it's a little faded on there, but I think it says 1982. If you really like vintage t-shirts, I am in the process of filming 30 days of styling nothing but my vintage t-shirts for a daily outfit, and that's gonna become a video in September. So if you're into vintage tee styling and you wanna see what I come up with over 30 days of styling vintage tees, you can subscribe and follow along for that video coming soon. I did grab this t-shirt. I still don't know what the acronym means, and I've been trying to Google it, but it's like kind of a common one, so I still don't exactly know what it means. And I get nervous about wearing t-shirts like that when I don't know what it means, because 
I obviously don't want to associate myself with things that I really don't believe in or anything, but I do like the cool colors of it. I think it's kind of cool that it says a Virginia woman on it. So I thought I would bring it home and hopefully I can discover what it actually means. And I got this tank top with a little embroidered horse on it. I am like, I'm not sure what the deal is with this top. The tag is missing. It just has a number three, which maybe size or something, but that's, that's all I know. The horse at first I thought might be Jordash, but I don't think it's quite their logo. So it's probably, I don't know, it's just some random horse, but I love it. It's got a cute cropped fit. I already wore this one, so I know exactly like kind of how I like to style it. And I think this is just a cute little staple. I think it's a vintage tee to add to my wardrobe. I got that vintage sleeveless gingham blouse. This just overall to me is so obviously vintage, like the way it has this dagger collar, the quality and like almost like a patina on the fabric. Like it's just, it's so delicious. Like it's so awesome. And I gotta tell you the vintage in that store was like priced separately and was marked up. However, when I checked out, she apparently just gave me the summer sale on all of my pieces, even if they were marked as vintage because I paid a dollar for this. So I'm really thrilled that I took it up to that register. <laughs> you never know. This one obviously would be so cute for a lot of summer styling. As we're moving into fall though, I could see me maybe layering it underneath sweaters and things like that since we've got the sleeveless cut. It's just gonna make a nice layering piece and I'll try to get some wear out of it like into the fall and winter, maybe even making it look a little bit like holiday in the winter time. Ah, I love it. Like it's a cardigan, it's a jacket, I don't know. It's, it looks like it's a homemade piece. This fabric looks very vintage to me, um, maybe 80s or earlier. And I thought it looked cool, like kind of artsy to me. So I think this one has a lot of fun styling potential. I got these vintage high-waisted trouser pants. They're kind of like a khaki material. I ended up trying like everything on basically with these pants in the fitting room and I was like, yeah, they have to come home with me now. These are just a really great basic to add to my closet. I know I'll get tons of wear out of them. They'll kind of go with everything. So whatever styling I end up doing, it's not really gonna be to like highlight the pants. I feel like they are just going to be an awesome staple piece to pair with other statement pieces or whatever I feel like wearing. I snagged this vintage top and like I said, she just gave me the summer sale on these items. So really glad that I got this and I didn't even pay whatever was on the price tag originally. I'm not like super into polos, but then again, I am loving short sleeve knit tops with a collar like this, especially how this one has the contrast and of course the interesting print down below. So I don't know, maybe that kind of is my thing. I definitely just like love the style of this with the collar and again, it screams vintage to me. I was so thrilled that this one actually fit me when I tried it on, like button up blouses. I never know if it's gonna work out, but um, yeah, I was really hopeful because I love the colors and like the, the pattern in this one. I think this for me is could be a year round piece, honestly, like it's very lightweight. So even with the long sleeves, you could do the summer styling and just like the mix of colors makes it really, really versatile, I think. I tend to think of Evan Picone as being like a pretty nice brand too, so. I'm really happy that I grabbed this top in the end. I'm so glad I didn't leave it behind. I just, I love the checkerboard, um, like the stitching in it. It's something that feels like very on trend, but it is also clearly vintage. And I just, I love pieces like that. And I treated the stains and I was able to get all of the stains out of it, no problem. So very happy about that as well, obviously. I was unsure about the length, but in the end I decided I will be able to do like bra tuck stylings or depending on the bottoms I choose, I might be able to tuck this in and still get kind of the silhouette that I prefer lately. <laughs> okay, strike a pose. comment let me know what you thought of that store and the finds in there I personally as you can tell was so so thrilled so I am hoping to get back to that store again sometime so let me know if you enjoyed it and you'd like to go back there and just a reminder about my upcoming galaxy live sale if you guys watched that video you know I thrifted pieces for you that I am passing along at thrift store pricing in this new app called galaxy uh, so check out that video, which I will link for you and set your calendars for Sunday, August 29th at 
10 a.m. Eastern. It's gonna be right after next Sunday's video, so you can basically catch the morning video with your coffee and then catch me on Galaxy and come hang out. And other than that, I will see you guys again next week for a new video. Mm -hmm.